Hello, my name is Matt and welcome to Matt Pilates. Just a reminder that this video is meant for Harvard Recreation members. If you need to do any modifications for any of the exercises we do, uh, please do so. We're going to start with some breathing exercises. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. As you breathe in, try to fill your belly and the sides of your torso. And as you exhale, do it with a little bit of force, like you're blowing out a candle or a pinwheel. In Pilates, we try to tie the breath to the movement. So during all of our exercises today, try to keep breathing. Our first movement, we'll sit lengthwise on our mat, feet stay on the ground, and then breathing in, we're going to lift our chest to the ceiling. Again, trying to fill our belly. And as we exhale, lean back, and try to get the abs to engage just a little bit. Breathe in and lift, extend the spine, and then exhale, scoop the belly into that curve. Down. We'll do a few more. Inhale and lift. Exhale, curl. Last inhale and lift. And on this exhale, let go with your hands. Slowly lower yourself down to the mat and relax there. From here, I want to go over a couple positions we use in Pilates. The first one is our neutral spine, where we have a little bit of a gap between the back and our mat. And we usually do that with an inhale. On the exhale, I want you to imprint, which is putting your back into the mat, pressing down with your weight, like you're pressing your back into sand, forming an imprint into the sand. So inhale and relax. Exhale and imprint. Inhale and release. Exhale and press down. This action is controlled from your hips. So when you're imprinting, you're actually going to be posteriorly tilting your hips and pelvis. And on that inhaling, relaxing, and neutral spine, you're going to be moving slightly anteriorly. What I mean by posterior tilt is when I imprint, I am pushing my back into the ground and my hips are tilting backwards. And then when I say anterior tilt, I mean my neutral spine is relaxing and my hips tilt up to the ceiling. With this imprint position, we can go into two different exercises. The first one is a bridge where we exhale, imprint, and then lift our pelvis up and our spine follows, articulating up into the top of the bridge. Inhale at the top and then exhale, articulate each vertebrae back down into the mat one at a time until we get back down to the neutral spine position. Inhale to relax, exhale, imprint, lift, our tailbone is rising up to the top of the bridge. <sighs> Squeeze at the top. Inhale, and then exhale, return back down to the mat. Let's do three more. Inhale, exhale, imprint, lift. Try to bring up your spine like it's a string of pearls, each one coming off the ground one at a time. And as you come back down, like you're dropping a string of pearls one at a time back down onto the ground. Two more. Exhale, imprint, lift up, pushing down through your heels, keeping your shoulders stable, inhaling and exhaling back down, moving with precision and control, and last bridge, imprint all the way up, and back down. The other exercise we can do from this imprint is called a curl up. So same starting point where you imprint your back into the mat, but then you nod your chin to your chest, lift your head and shoulders off the ground, look at your knees and reach 
with your fingers to your feet. And then relax back down. Let's do four more. Inhale to prepare, exhale, imprint and lift. Scooping the belly, pushing your back into the ground, holding for a second before relaxing back down. Three more. Inhale, exhale, imprint and lift. Feeling your abdominals work. Two more. Pressing that middle of your back into the ground. Last one. Make it your best one. Getting the shoulders off the ground as much as you can. And then back down and relax. Our first series of core exercises is going to start with the hundred. So you're going to be in that imprint position in that top of the curl up. And then if you want more of a challenge, you can bring both legs up and extend them into the challenge point where you can hold, but it's difficult. Hands are slightly above the ground, about eight inches, and you're going to be pumping your hands up and down for each breath. And we're going to count to a hundred. Are you ready? Here we go. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Good job, we're halfway. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale, 20 more, exhale, inhale, and exhale, and relax. We're going to move on to a one leg circle. In this exercise, you're going to stay in a neutral spine, so we'll just have a little bit of a gap between your back and the ground. We're gonna lift one knee up, lift one leg straight up as best you can. And we're gonna bring the leg in, down, and then out, around, and back to the top. With this motion, we're going to breathe in on the down, and then exhale, out and up. We'll do four more. Inhale, down and around. Exhale, out and up. Try to keep your hips stable through this motion and your arms or your shoulders in place, foot staying on the ground, legs staying as straight as possible. Let's do one more. And then relax. We'll switch sides. Bring that other leg up. Get it as straight as possible. And then we're going in to start on the inhale. Exhale, out and around. Try to keep those hips stable. We're doing three more. Try to do as big of a circle as you can, as long as you're staying anchored in place. Last one. And back to the first leg. This time we're going out to start. So we're in that top straight leg position and we're going out to the side on the inhale and then exhaling, swinging it in and back up. We'll do four more. Inhale out and down, exhale in and up. Three more. Two more. Try to keep that neutral spine position Last circle, and place it back down. Last leg, last one leg circle. Bring the leg up, going out and down. On the inhale, exhale, in and up. Trying to make a big circle with your toe. Three more. Trying to keep your breath going throughout the entire movement. Two more. And last one. Good. Got a 
couple more exercises of this abdominal series. We're going back into the imprint position, bringing both legs up, and we're going to do a single leg stretch where one leg goes out and you hold the other leg. Inhale, exhale as you switch. Inhale, exhale as you switch. Let's do six more. Five more. Four more. Keep that imprint. Two more. Last one. And relax for a second. We have one more in this series. This is the double leg stretch. So you have that imprint position, head and shoulders are up, both legs are up, and they'll both go out at the same time. We'll do five of these. So inhale to prepare, and then exhale and extend out with your hands and legs. Four more, inhale, exhale, out. Three more. Big breaths, keep it going. Two more. Last one, make it count. And relax, pull the knees in, and you can rock side to side to relax. We actually have one more core exercise before we go to the other side of the body. Hands are gonna be at your head, and then legs are back up in that tabletop position. Head and shoulders are up, and your abs are imprinting into the mat, and this is the crisscross. So keep that one elbow down as you bring the other elbow up to the knee and extend your leg on the exhale. Inhale on the return, exhale, other side. Inhale on the back down, exhale, lift up and relax. Exhale, lift and back down. Let's do three more on each side. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lift. Two more. Last one each way. And relax. We're gonna do a couple bridges next. So go ahead and do a few just normal bridges where we imprint down, lift up into the bridge position, making sure that feels right. Inhale, exhale on the way down. Neutral spine at the bottom, inhale. On this one, exhale, imprint and lift and hold at the top of that bridge. And I want you to look down at your hips and observe that they're in a flat, neutral position. They're not going one way or the other because we're gonna to try to keep that through this next series of bridges. Holding that bridge, lift up one knee and lift up the leg to make it straight. We're gonna do a series of single leg bridges. If you wanna keep your legs straight, you can do that. That is the easier position and the other one would be straight out in front. This is a lot harder because you have that weight way out away from your body. I'm gonna be doing the leg straight. Inhale. Exhale as you articulate your spine down. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale and lift. Let's do four more single leg bridges. Inhale, exhale down. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale up. Three more. Go at your own pace. Two more. Really getting those glutes working, pushing through that heel on the last one up, and all the way back down. Bring that leg down and relax. We're going to do the other side, but like we were for the first one, we're gonna start at the top, get that good neutral position, make sure your pelvis is stable, bring the leg up, get the leg straight, and here we go, inhale, Exhale down, inhale, exhale, press up, 
four more. Three more. Try to exhale as you move. Two more. Last one, all the way down, and then all the way up, and back down. Good. Relax. Go ahead and get your legs straight. We're going to do a few roll-ups. Hands are right over your shoulders. Inhale in that neutral spine. Exhale, and as you imprint, lift your head and shoulders up. Try to keep your heels on the ground as you rise up to the top of a sitting position. Try to get your backs straight for here. Inhale, exhale. As you lower back down, when you feel your abs engage, you scoop the belly, lower yourself back down to the ground, and relax. Let's do two more like that. So inhale, exhale, imprint, lift your head and shoulders, scoop the belly, rise up to the top position. When you're in that top position, we're going to do a couple spinal twists. So keeping that tall position, exhale as you turn one direction, inhale back to the center, and then exhale, turn the other direction. And then we'll go back down. Again, leaning back, Exhaling, when you feel your abs engage, scoop. Lower yourself back down and relax. One more time, all the way up. Exhale, imprint, lift. Keep those legs on the ground as you get to the top position. We'll spinal twist the other way. Exhaling as you twist. Inhaling to return. Exhaling to twist. Inhaling back. We'll do one more all the way back down. And we'll come back up and end in the seating, seated position. Scoop, rise up. You can bring the legs in. And our last exercise from here is our teaser progression. So for the teaser, I like to start leaning back until you feel your abs engage. Try to keep a straight back for this one. When you feel that start to engage, let go with your hands. And the stage one is raising both legs up and holding for a second, and then placing them back down. And relax. Take a breath. And we'll do that again, leaning back, letting go with your hands, raising one leg up at a time and then back down. And we're gonna to add to that progression. So go ahead and lean back, let go of your hands, bring both legs up at the same time and try to extend them as far as you can. If you can get them straight, that's great. Come back and relax. Let's do one more like that. Exhale, lean back, lift and extend and return. Our last progression, although you can stop at any progression you like, got a quick breath, exhale, lean back, lift the hands, lift the legs, extend, and then lower the legs before returning. Whew. Last one like that. Lean back, let go of the hands, lift the legs, exhale, extend, and lower and bring it back. We'll take a quick break. If you need to get some water, pause the video and we'll come back in a side lying position. Our next series of exercises is in a side lying position. I want you to line up with your back to the edge of the mat, feet slightly in front. So I'm actually at the edge, the other edge of the mat with my feet and then your head can rest on your fist. It can be on a straight arm, or you can have your head up on your hand. My preference is on my fist like this. 
whatever feels best for you. Try to have a straight spine where you have a little bit of a gap here for your waist and your hips are stacked. Feet are right over one another here. From here, the top leg is gonna go straight back. You can use your hand for stability if you need it. And we'll just do a few quick, small raises. You can breathe in time to the, to the raising of your leg, or you can do two breaths in, in, out, in, Three more, two more, last one. Bring that leg back and we'll do the bottom leg now. Bring that bottom leg straight back. And you're not gonna lift it very far, but you're just trying to get that inside of the groin active. Three more, two more. Last one, and bring that leg back. Try to reestablish your position here. We're gonna do a few bicycles for the top leg. So we bring the knee up, extend the leg, and then sweep back like you're riding the biggest bicycle you've ever ridden. <sighs> Inhale, extend, bring it back. <sighs> Breathe at whatever rate feels best for you. It's all work for this exercise. Let's do three more big circles. Two more. One more. And then we'll go the other direction, just for a few. So it's straight leg as far as you can, bend the knee and bring it back. Let's do three more, two more, last one, good. Place it back down and we'll switch sides. Again, lining up with your back to the edge of the mat. Find your head position, get your legs set. Heels stacked, hips stacked, shoulders stacked. A little bit of a space there for your hips, because that's going to keep your core engaged. And we have that top leg straight, raising that one up and down. Breathe at whichever rate works best for you. This is a warm up for those gluteus medius, gluteus maximus muscles right through your hips. We'll do two more, one more, bring that leg back, bottom leg, to the inside. Try to push down through that top leg to help get that bottom leg up. You're not moving very far, you're just trying to get the engagement through that leg. Two more, one more. Bring that bottom leg back, and we're doing the bicycle. So, knee up, leg straight, sweep it back. Breathe at your own rate for this one. And I do suggest using your hand for stability, because we want to keep the abs engaged. We want to keep everything else anchored in, so we can focus on making that big bicycle We'll do four more, three more, two more, last one, and the other way. Push down, straight leg up, bend the knee, kick it back, keep going. Four more, three more. Two more, and last one. Rest for a second and we'll come back onto our stomach. Okay, 
Go ahead and roll onto your stomach. For this series of exercises, I would recommend taking off your glasses if you have any, because your head is going to be straight down. Keep your abs engaged so there's a little bit of space between your belly button and the ground, and your hands are going to start right over your head, feet flat. Keep your chin tucked slightly, and we're going to do a few reverse angels. It's like a snow angel, but you're looking down. So lift up, keep your hands up, bring the hands all the way back, and up to over your head. Breathe at whatever feels best for you. And we'll do eight more. Keep those hands up. Keep the shoulders back, abs slightly engaged, chin staying tucked, eyes looking straight down. Five more. Four more. Keep that neck long. This is the last one going down all the way back to the top and relax for a second. Whew. Our second exercise here is the swimmer exercise. Keep your head up again. Opposite hand and leg are going to lift up and back down. So you lift, hold for a second and come back down. Lift, exhale, hold for a second and back down. Lift, hold for a second, back down. Let's do six more on each side. Five more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Three more. Two more. Last one. And last side. Good. Bring your hands next to your shoulders, and we're going to press up. Relax back for a second. We're going into a bird dog exercise, or opposite arm, opposite leg, reach out. So have your hands right under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Try to get a good stable position there. And for this one, we're gonna do opposite arm and leg out and lift. We'll keep on one side, keep those limbs straight and reach for distance between your hand and foot. Let's do six more lifts. Keep your head down, keeping your spine long. Exhaling on the lift, going for distance between your hand and foot. Three more, two more, last one. Good, place that hand back, knee back and we'll switch sides. One leg goes straight, arm goes straight. Keep those limbs out as you lift up. Inhaling on the down, exhaling on the up. Let's do six more. Reaching from your hand to your foot. Trying to keep balanced over the other limbs. Three more. Two more, last one, and bring it back. And we'll do just a couple more exercises. Put your hands out a little farther, lower the hips down into a straight position. One foot straight, other foot straight. Go up into a downward dog, so your hips go back, pressing through your hands, get a little bit of stretch there. And we're going to do two push-ups with a slow push down for eight seconds. So find your high plank position, hands on the mat, body straight, and we're gonna lower down for eight seconds. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Rise back up any way you can. Back up into that downward dog position. 
If you need to do this push, push up on your knees, go ahead. We're doing the last push up. Play that plank position, hold for just a second. And here we go for eight seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and down. Go ahead and go back into child's pose and we'll do a few stretches. So a few of my favorite stretches, I'm not gonna show it the whole time, but go ahead and pause the video and stretch on your own. Our first one is the child's pose position where you walk your hands to the side because you get a nice stretch through that side and your back. So hold your head down. A few deep breaths. I like to do five deep breaths while holding that stretched position. From there, it's nice to go into a kneeling position because you can get a good hip flexor stretch. Hip flexor stretch, you have your foot down, knee down, extend the hips and then twist a little bit so you feel it through that quadricep or the hip flexor. Hold that stretch as you breathe and then switching sides. Other knee goes down, and twist. Pushing forward so you feel that quadricep stretch and turning the other direction. Another stretch I like here is the hamstring stretch where you have your leg out, lean forward, keep your back straight, but you'll feel that through your hamstring. Just rest there for a second, switch the sides. When you're doing this on your own, try to hold for about 15 seconds or five deep breaths. And the last exercise I'll show today is the figure four or the pigeon pose stretch. One leg back, cross it over, and then sink back so you're feeling it through your glutes. And you're gonna get to put your weight into your stretch for this one. And you can relax as you stretch there. Switching sides, leg straight, cross it over, sinking back, and relaxing there for over 15 seconds. Thank you for joining me on this workout today. Again, my name is Matt. If you have any questions or comments, I'm also a personal trainer here at Harvard Recreation, and you can find me at matthew.mcdowell at hfit.com. Thank you very much and have a great day.